I'm making potato salad, not just oh, any potato yeah. salad. A double potato salad with pesto. Pesto. Oh, pesto. Oh, pesto. pesto potato salad. Nice and vibrant. Yes. Green. It's healthy. It's good for you. Okay? Starting with, I'm, I'm not using the normal russets or the, you know, the new potatoes or red potatoes I'm using. This is probably my favorite potato on the planet. Fingerling potatoes. Yeah. The rainbow ones come in. Usually a couple different colors. You got the purple ones, the red ones, the you know, the potato they ones. They come in a sack, right? Exactly. They come in a nice sack. All you gotta do is scrub them or wash them, but I don't you could just rinse them in the water. We're starting, we're gonna cut these in about like, I don't know, inch or so, three-quarter of an inch slices. And the skins are so thin on that, so it just melts through. You got a great nice bite down. And we're gonna start it in a cold pot of water here that is aggressively salted, okay? And then we're gonna bring it up to a simmer. So we're slicing these all even, Steven, starting in that cold pot of water. No need to cover it, heavily salted. We're gonna bring it to a boil and then bring it immediately down to a simmer and cook it till it's fork tender, just like these guys are here. And then immediately you wanna drain it, okay? Now you wanna have all your mise en place ready because you don't wanna have to wait for anything. I like a nice fresh potato salad. A lot of people yeah. like it overnight. I don't know, no. like fresh, ready to go. I love it overnight. So again, fork oh. tender. I We're... love that you're doing skin on too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? Are you skin on or skin oh, yeah. off? Skin Whenever on. Whenever I can salad. leave a skin on, anything yeah. I leave yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Skin on. I don't know, it just looks so pretty too, and these skins are vitamins. so nicely colored. So we are gonna drain this quickly into a bowl, and while it's hot, I think this is a very important step yes, in very a great important. Pota potato Dude. salad, a little white distilled vinegar directly on that while it's hot. Not a ton, just enough to kind of coat it. And what's happening, Raul, all that acid from the vinegar is soaking into the warm potato. So every bite is seasoned with that salt water and with the vinegar. So like nothing's under season. It's all beautiful. Give it a nice little toss and you could smell the potato soaking in there. Awesome, now let's make our base. I like a creamy potato salad, so we got some mayonnaise in here. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of Dijon. Good. Some capers. Drain those guys. How many? I don't know. We could chop them up. I appreciate the caper jar because there's always room. that weird pocket in your door where you yeah, have all you the sauce. That. It that does goes right in the pocket. Okay. Yeah. Just give them a rough chop, or you can keep them whole. But these are decently sized. I like chopping them. Yeah. I like chopping them a little too. bit. Don't forget, it's a seed, right? Mm -hmm, Caper's mm -hmm. a seed. It's grown on a bush. A yep. berry. A berry, berry. And then, of course, the pesto, about a quarter of a cup of that. Store-bought, right? Well, you know, we've talked about this before. It's much more vibrant. Usually, right? It's beautiful, but I think pesto loves fresh citrus, so we're gonna put a little uh, lemon juice. First, a little lemon zest directly into that base. Do it, do it. It's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. It is. It's all like, really you know. I'm gonna pack a flavor punch. I think if you toss anything in what's in that bowl, it'll be good. Can you imagine just making a little extra of this and then just keeping it in a jar, put it put on like a hamburger. nice, put on a hamburger, Slather put it on a club on sandwich with some fried fish, fish, bacon, yeah. fish and chips. Do you like it cold, room temperature, or hot? I like my German potato salad hot. I yeah. like it warm to room temp. Room temp, warm, right? Cold? I mean, I like both of them. Do I have to choose? I think yes, cold you do, is so Katie. raw, because this is like ice cold well, on your teeth. When We're it's like judge at a barbecue, you. I want a nice cold one if it's hot outside. And then other times, I like that nice, warm, you know, vinegary one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, tell me you don't want it. It looks so good. So when I was making... Thank you. Oh, we got the best part now. When I was making this, I was like, ah, how do I add some texture? And how do I add a little spice? Because that's the only thing this is... Missing just a little something to give it an edge. Salt, yeah. Salt. Oh my God, I'm seeing what's happening right now. So here we're gonna kind of. This is like this, this is beautiful. Wow, that is whoa. Hand blown glass bowl here <laughs> that were made by monks <laughs> in New Jersey. <laughs> The embroidery capital of the world. Is, is Jersey really the embroidery capital yes. of the world? Wow, put that on the license plate. There you go. <laughs> You're on fire today, Jeff. I am on fire. Tana salad makes me crazy. <laughs> All right, so I said it was a double potato salad. It is. So we're gonna oh. take one of my favorite, everybody knows chips are my guilty pleasure, but my guilty, guiltiest pleasure, jalapeno <gasps> kettle chips. Yes. Potato on potato. Well, obviously, if you're serving it, right before you serve it is a potato chip. You don't, yes. you know, store it like that, right? You scoop from the top and then reapply as mm -hmm. you go on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Like an ice cream sundae. Spoken like a real user of his own recipe. Yeah. All right, who's first? Me. You know what that'd be great with? A little bratwurst or like a... Oh, Talk oh, about sausage. it. Oh, Talk about God. it. Grilled sausage. A little bratwurst, knockwurst. Oh. Anything. Mm. Man.
I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Mm. Look at that crunchy, crunch, crunch. Uh -oh. Well, that first bite. I see the bite. You're going. Oh, I see a caper. I got the, the vinegar and the caper brine smell mm -hmm. before it even hit my palate, which was like really nice to know it was about to go down. Now, the pouring of the vinegar oh. over the top of the potatoes when they come out, so smart and so good. And I am hashtag team texture. Mm -hmm. So the crunch on top of the creamy potato with the pesto mix in here. Jeff, this is delicious. <laughs> you have to try this. Even with your own potato salad recipe, 